Okay, I haven't done a video in over a month and uh, now that I have a couple of extra hours uh, to do the early market close, I thought about doing one. And wow, bull market baby, that's all I have to say. I had really low expectations for Jay. Uh, I didn't think I would trade much at all, uh, but uh, I traded quite a bit actually. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna go through uh, all the positions I have, uh, all my swings and all the trades I did today. So let's start with overstock. This thing has been probably my second best trade after HM and Y long. Uh, I'm o overall, I think I'm up over 100,000 on it, on all of my trades. If you remember in one of my earlier videos, I was talking about buying it on this range break uh, here, uh, which I didn't do. Uh, uh, but I did buy it on this day here, I added on this day here, sold on the way up, I added on the earnings day. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, sold on the way up and then added and sold and added and uh, just been trailing my stop. Hasn't really violated much all the support levels. It did violate the 10 day on this day here and I sized down quite a bit. And then a couple of days later, I added back all of it plus more on the earnings when it capped up on volume. And yeah, I, uh, you know, this thing could have another 30, 50% in it easily this year. Especially if uh, the blockchains, the, the bitcoins, and all of Ethereum, and they keep going. Silk, I bought it on the earnings on this day here. Oh, actually, it wasn't earnings. They they had a design win, or something like that. And uh, yeah, I bought it, and it's been going higher. They 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 had the earnings a couple of days later. It wasn't anything spectacular. Good earnings or decent earnings. Nothing super great. ESIO, I'm in from earnings, if you remember, I bought it on this day here and swung it up, sold it on the way up, and now I add it back on this day here. It's just earnings were just absolute blowout, just super earnings. The semiconductor spaces, man, they are having a great time right now. Um, and yeah, I've sold some and... Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm just trailing it. Uh, WB, I bought it after the earnings actually, because it didn't really do anything on the earnings day. But the day after earnings, it broke out of this pendant or whatever you wanna call it, which is this flag formation. And I bought it here at 101 ish. Let's look at the 60 minute chart. Yeah, I bought it somewhere here, 101 area. Sold some on the way up and just trailing the stop. Gush, I bought it on Friday, N no, sorry, not on Friday, on uh, on Wednesday, today is Friday, on Wednesday, and uh, so, um, yeah, well, not doing much, uh, oil itself had a great day, but uh, the oil producers are not really participating, uh, they had a big run, here and here and both of these times I, I thought about buying it here I thought about buying it here but I never did and of course the times I buy it I did buy it on this day got stopped out here I bought it on Wednesday and yeah just doesn't want to go when I buy it GCAP now this one I had it in this account I had it here but I moved the position so I wanted to lighten up on this account. Uh, I have a lot of unmarginable stuff in here. So I just wanted to lighten up the exposure so I wouldn't get any margin calls. Uh, and I, I wanted to have a wide margin. So I moved to GSAP, GCAP. I actually bought it in pre-market 1,000 shares at 765. And then I added um, near the open, this eight, 790s and yeah, no, not 790s. Let's look at the one minute chart. I added here, yeah, 790s. Yeah, it was 790s. And then I've been selling on the way up. Uh, let's see, Riot. I've been in this thing for a while, big, big trade. Uh, let's look at it this 
way. I did buy it on this day here. Unfortunately, I didn't add. If you look at a 60 minute chart, there were actually opportunities to add it like here and you know, just as these flag breaks on the 60 minute. But I, I never did add. I had this initial position I bought and <laughs> I say I sold it pre market in the I think in the 1790s and uh, well yeah it went higher <laughs> I, I, I sold uh, like my last fifth or 15% 15, 15 or 20% so it wasn't a full position I, I obviously sold on the way up OLED another great earnings winner one of the fastest growing stocks in the market right now bought it on the earnings day opening range highs and just trailing it <laughs> just been going straight up and um, ABLX, uh, recent buy, recent IPO, Biotech had some, just some buy initiations. I, I bought some. I, I thought the risk was so low. If you look at the f uh, five minute chart, I bought it in 2240s. And my, my stop was like 20 cents. So, not that I'm excited about the trade, but the risk was so low. And I thought it was a decent setup. So, just trailing it. TWMGF, they had a big partnership with um, uh, Constellation Brands, which is one of the biggest bear producers in the world. So they're going to probably start doing Mariana, Mariana Bear and other beverages, I guess. Uh, so it was big, very big news for this thing. And it's a leader in, uh, in the cannabis space. Uh, bought it, bought it, bought it on this day here and just been straight up since and if oh, NCS I bought it on Wednesday I'm willing to add to this if you can go sideways another few days build this range here and uh, then break out of this 225 area I'm willing to double triple even quadruple my position I only have a small starter uh, right now SSC I bought it on I think this is Monday. No, this is Tuesday. I bought it on this day. Got stopped out on Wednesday. I rebought it on Wednesday before the close. And uh, yeah, today I actually traded it intraday. I think I lost on the trades intraday. It was so shoppy, but so I pretty much only have the uh, shares I bought on Wednesday. Which is a tiny position. S Rax, this one I've been long for a while too. I bought it on this day here when it took out of, you know, broke out of this tight tight range. And you know I've been I, I've been stalking these uh, blockchain related uh, stocks for weeks and months. I know you know this thing can you know go. I usually have these different themes I track. Like I have. Uh, you know, cobalt and lithium related, uh, China related, blockchain, AI, Mariana, uh, and some opioid epidemic. You know, potential s uh, what sectors that tank that can go. And you, you, we get usually like two, three, four themes per year that make m enormous moves, and this is just one of them. Uh, and, you know, stalking pays. You stalk them, and you, when the time is right, you buy them, and yeah. <laughs> it's paid handsomely. Uh, um, so yeah, Srax, I, I did uh, trade it intraday too. I bought some, I actually bought it initially here, but I got stopped out pretty much immediately. And then I added here or added back here. And yeah, uh, straight up since my late day buys. Hmm. Mara, I bought it on Wednesday also. I actually bought it on Tuesday initially, got stopped out on Wednesday. No, sorry, I bought it on Monday, got stopped out on Tuesday, and uh, rebought it on Wednesday. And yeah, <laughs> holy shit. And I think it's in the 650s pre market. It's up, yeah, almost 300% in a few days. Just insane. Just insane. EC, oil related name, bought it on Wednesday, sold it today, just, yeah, I have no patience for things that are not working immediately in this market. 
every you know most things are going straight up and if i buy something that doesn't go straight up i i just get out of it there's no reason to be patient dpw uh, this one i bought it on wednesday too oh wow is it that one dollar pre-market or sorry after hours that's amazing <sighs> just amazing um and long this one too Let's see, GCAP. Yeah, GCAP, I talked about HM and Y. I had some news, I don't know, irrelevant news. I bought some on opening range highs, got stopped out. APHQF, another Mariana name. Uh, bought it opening range highs today. Uh, you know, maybe it can go to 8, 9 or something. Uh, GBTC bought it opening range highs. Again, you see a theme here? I should anticipate it a little bit. I bought it one uh, a thousand and seven tight stop, stop. I had like a seven dollar stop on it, and yeah, straight up. I sold a bunch. Again, it's not marginable, so I would have. I wa I wanted to hold more overnight, but I just had to size down. Uh, I don't want to hold a bunch of unmarginable things, especially. I think if these uh, blockchain related names keep, you know, have big runs overnight like gap up a lot they could be great short so I, I want to have a lot of buying power available intraday so I can short those things and mark this one too I was long here sold on the way up sold my last shares on this day here which is Tuesday I think I added back some today I thought it was going to go to 11 or something but it didn't so I just took a tiny profit on it so those are the trades for today and current positions let's look at uh, some of the things on my watch list these are all blockchain related um, and r I am not looking to sh uh, buy these things uh, on Monday uh, unless we uh, they like gap down or something or actually not even then uh, I, I am looking uh, ideal scenario especially on s racks and riot these are the ones that are most extent and Mara too, like these ones are up multiple days in a row and several hundred percent. These are the main ones for shorts. Again, ideally they gap up, like have ridiculous gap ups, you know, 30, 50, 100 percent. Okay, Riot is not gonna gap up 100 percent, but this Mara could gap up. Why can't it go to 10, 11? This thing is already. I can't see. TC2000 doesn't show the after hours action right now since uh, due to the early close, the platform doesn't know the market cl closed early, but it's already at 660 in after hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, these things can gap up big. Uh, so that would be the ideal scenario. Uh, let's look at some longs, you know, uh, HMNY. Again, I'm, I've been stalking this thing for months and months and months since it broke down. I had some great long trades on it here and here. Actually, on this, I got stopped up break even on this one. I got too greedy. I thought it was going to go to 20, but it didn't. I, and uh, right now I have no position, but I'm, I'm still stalking it. You know, this thing, one of, one of these days, it's going to break out in volume. I go to 20 bucks or plus. Uh, this thing has a catalyst, blockbuster potential as December 9 and 11 presentation. So it could have a big run into it or, or big. It could have a run in, into that. Uh, so something I'm stalking. I think the biotechs bounced today. No, they didn't, but they, they look decent. So yeah, this thing been flagging. This hasn't cared at all about the biotech weakness past few months just been you know going up and sideways so it's a great relative strength flag pattern with a catalyst um, this one just stalking it really tight flag pattern another one well nothing exciting um, another Mariana related name looks decent very tight you know the thing about with these kinds of names you know let's say i buy it 13 when it breaks out you know it, it, it's gonna go like it's not gonna go to 14 it's gonna go to like 17. 
these kinds of flags are just, especially on the OTCs, they they they, can, they work so well. Not always, obviously, but they usually work better than Nasdaqs. Another biotech, uh, oil gas name. I I don't know. It looks tight. I don't know. Another one's a fracking name. Uh, I don't know. This is this, this one is too slow. I'm not gonna taking off. This one looks good, really good. Big pop on earnings, orderly pullback, tight tight range, just resting on a 20 day. This is the kind of star or scenario you can risk like 50 cents to make five bucks plus. Uh, recent IPO just flagging thing as a catalyst they have data this quarter so I, I don't know exactly uh, it could be any time I guess but it looks good I, I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it I have to do more research on it you know it could gap down a lot if the data is bad um, so uh, it's not that great looking other recent IPO semiconductor hot sector you know, breaks out of that 12 area could go big Depot, just some random stock, low price, low. Ah, you know what? It's too thin. Looked good, but uh, not a micro cap. This one broke down on the RYB news, I guess. The China or the private education stocks are not popular right now. Oh, and since I talked about just some random micro cap. This one thing I may trade for a bounce on Monday. I don't know. That's some big news. I did buy it on this day here, late day, and had a nice gap up. And then I got stopped out on it on this day here, and then it set up again and went even bigger move uh, without me, unfortunately. <laughs> QD looking for a reversal trade. If it could gap down and wash out the Monday, it could be a reversal there, just on, like on this day here. Because, I mean, this thing is up, or sorry, down over 50% in, a, in just a few weeks. And... It's a mid cap stock, so you know it could very easily bounce bunch. Uh, well, these are my current positions. Uh, anything else? Some random shorts. Nothing excited about. I'm gonna focus on the blockchain names. Yeah. So the. So, anyways, that's uh, that's it for today. I don't know when I'm when I'm gonna do the next video. Uh, I have just too many other things going on and not really, don't really have time for these videos. Um, okay, have a great weekend.